How do you say uh, the contrast between Fair Records and the Runner differs? Band oriented, you know, people that work there are in bands, as opposed to people that work there are only in suits and don't really realize what the game's about. Um, so anyway, it's night and day different, you know, but uh, it's um, the same thing. It's a business, you know, and you got to adapt to that, and uh, you got to sell X amount of records to stay afloat. So um, we're grateful to be there, though. You share a roster with. Um one band in particular who don't get enough love, 12 Tribes. Yeah. How come they don't seem to be getting the respect they deserve? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a, a mystery to me that, uh, you know, on a million hardcore tours where we had to, like, you know, fight every night just to get these kids to even move. And as the years went on, things got much better for us in that department, not being a hardcore band. You know, just maybe the hardcore kids maybe adapting to it, whatever. 12 Tribes being one of my favorite bands who I think is more along the lines of the Shai Halud type, very musical, but very heavy vocally. I always thought they would never get grief towards them with hardcore kids. I always thought, you know, they're shooing. But really, I think that those guys, as I watched them over the years, you know, I don't know. I think maybe they're either going over the heads or kids don't care or whatever it is. It's not very, I think it'll probably be maybe same boat as us where I think one of those bands that just kind of is in the system but not going any higher or any lower just kind of there something didn't happen for them that maybe the, the boat just kept on going past their their dock or whatever you want to say but one of my favorite bands of all time one of my favorite group of people we've done numerous tours with them we took them to Europe many times and uh, you no know, Adam you know he's singing our last record and anyway they're great great band and their last record uh, Midwest pandemic one of my favorite records in, in years so do we uh, do we do we paint uh, Sharpie beards on our face with the 12 traps? Yeah. yeah, we were also, uh, nobody had like beards and we got all drunk one night on the lounge and I mean, Sharpie full grown <laughs> beards. I had X's on one side and O's on the other and I remember we were in Belgium and uh, we had this photo shoot and I was taking a shower and trying to get it off and I we couldn't get that stuff off. I looked like I had a dirty face, these jailhouse shitty tats and <laughs> anyway, uh, Probably that was with us and Bull from a Valentine and 12 Tribes, and all of us had like fake mustaches. Like, I remember Moose, the drummer from uh, Bull from a Valentine, he had a sweet curly mustache that was there for like a week. <laughs> Just all shitty. And we interviewed the Shia Lu a few, uh, a little week and a half ago. Yeah, that's another great example of one of the greatest bands that's been in the genre for years and years. And uh, of Hearts Once Nourished, that record, holy crap the greatest records ever uh, and in the end of the day you know if if that's what we're still doing trying to make relevant music and try to be friends with each other and do something that's current uh, as long as there's you know a good 50 people at the show still it's it matters so um, I think that's the, the reason to, to do this for 15 years and not make a dime you know it's because in our hearts it's relevant and to a handful of people it's important so I think as long as that's still there that's the reason you still do it and I think that's probably the reason that Shia Lu still makes awesome music and maybe it doesn't reach all the years but to the people that are interested they definitely seek it out you said you aren't too political but are you at all interested in conspiracies are you at all passionate about oh, that what? he just asked me if I'm interested in conspiracies <laughs> we have had let's go by the last two months or maybe longer uh, we got into this well first off I don't know if you guys know about the draconian race or the reptilian race so we started out having all these late night discussions drunk discussions of this whole thing and aliens and UFOs we've always been interested in and things like that and then uh, that went on for a long time and basically we the whole uh, was it the devil driver or trivium tour Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Um, David Ick, or Ike, I I'm not sure how you That's pronounce Ike. it. Yeah, um, here's, here's the reptilian eye right here, we gotta get that. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it's hilarious because I tried to get, my wife is a staunch Republican who basically has to see it to believe it, and we've been trying to get her to get into this reptilian thing, and she thinks I joined a cult or something, but... You just got thrown on the fruit wagon. Right? Yeah, totally. Uh, but anyway, um, so anyway, we were laughing about this stuff for months, and I was doing all this YouTube stuff, and there's a lot of crazy stuff that's pretty out there and probably not that real, a lot of Photoshop stuff or whatever. But um, 
Then we got into the zeitgeist, the movie. You guys know about this, yes. So we watched that, the whole 9-11 thing completely blew my mind, pissed me off for two weeks. I'm calling people, I'm like, check this out, you know, we're all totally into it. Now they got the zeitgeist, the movie too. And, um, Amendum. Amendum, yeah, and I haven't seen it. Steve just downloaded it. But I'm like jonesing to see it. Yeah, I'm, I think that there's some real crooked stuff going on, number one, with the whole 9-11 thing. Uh, I, I really don't want to believe that my own government could be behind something that horrible, but uh, the evidence in that first one, have you watched it? I mean, it's just so freaking believable. It really is crazy, but uh, what else you got? There's another one. <laughs> that's just a, that's a quick glance. A little bit of conspiracy. Uh, quick reference guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are uh, spending a lot of time on this stuff lately. Have uh, you heard the one about the moon landing? Well, yeah, that's old, right? That they think it's fake and it's all in Hollywood, yeah. That was because, you know, because they didn't want the Russians to get a hold ahead yeah. of the U.S., so maybe they... I want the truth just like everybody else, and I, uh, I'm skeptical. But I, I'm also, you know, I kind of want to see it to believe it. And uh, Thomas was reading this book. It's called, like, Secret, Strange Secrets, I think. And it has this whole thing about UFOs where our government made a bunch of UFOs. Actually, Hitler was doing it first. The Germans were doing it. And then, anyway, so most of the sightings we've seen are our own government man-made saucers. I don't really know why that means we still haven't seen a very good footage of them or anything like that. But I have seen some, a couple good things lately though on the, on the internet, UFO-wise. But the whole reptilian thing, I was I'm not even going to tell the story that I read, but it's too stupid. No, no, please. He knew a guy that worked the security to this place and he was uh, on a day off and he brought a friend of his and they were going to go on this four wheel ride. Well, he arranged with the guy at the security office to let him go and show his buddy this underground city, basically. It's a military thing. And uh, so the guy gets him through. They go back like eight miles underneath the ground. Big tunnel place. Anyway, they get to this, the dude's saying, he gets to this area way back there and he sees these two like seven foot beans. One is green and one is albino white. An albino white one is like really meek and like deteriorated almost like looking. The green one's very muscular and like mean looking. And they're like probably a hundred feet from them I think. And the green one's got a weapon. <laughs> Sounds nuts man. And so every, I told the story a bunch of times everybody in the van and everybody's like get the fuck out of here you know. Anyway so the fucking they stop right and they see the one gets like real aggressive and shoots at him hits his buddy's uh, four wheeler fucking blows it to them smithereens it's not working anymore the dude jumps on his buddies they hightail it out of there this thing chases them they get out there's like a crack either a line it couldn't cross or sunlight or something it couldn't cross but it wouldn't go across this area and uh, they kept going got out of there Anyway, end of the story, he tells in the end of the forum, he's like, I, I'm not a, a skeptic, I don't believe in UFOs, blah, blah, blah. I would never write this, but this fucking happened to me, has, blah, blah, blah. I'm, okay, so that's the, the paragraph. Underneath it, there's multiple, I'm talking 15 to 20 people that are like, please call me, I have similar story, similar <laughs> situation, all this shit. I'm going, holy fuck. And it's way better than the story I could tell. I can't. I left out details because I can't remember it all. And I've been looking for it. What do these beings look like? Though? They're friggin' repto reptiles, man. <laughs> the reptoids. <laughs> anyway, man, so I, I, that's how I got started in this thing. And uh, then ever since then, uh, we've been doing all the, the YouTube thing where you can see, like, Clinton and, uh, you know, uh, Bush and all their eyes changing in interviews. And it's probably not real, but maybe it is. Um, but it all ties in with the Masons and, and uh, you know, um, Skull and Bones and Federal Reserve and all this weird 2012. Shit. Yeah, 2012, my, the Mayans, my, my yeah. Um, it's interesting and it's cool to fucking get into it and I don't care if people think it's crazy, it's fun. And I want to see some shit, so if there's reptiles, there's another book like this that uh, talks about on how they attach to your chakras and uh, I don't know, they're shapeshifters and not everybody can see them. Supposedly David can. David old uh, Ick. Ike. Ick. Ike. Ike. David's got special powers. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> anyway, I'm into it. 
Oh yeah, man. Cool, man. It's, Thanks so much. I just sound like a fucking guy needs to get checked into the funny I farm, know. but uh, <laughs> I was like, hold on, we got two more hours of conspiracy. <laughs> no, no, no. That was awesome.